Hello guys, Mess Graphics here. I know it's been a while. So today I'm going to be showing you how to use combination photo manipulation technique for your flyer designs using Photoshop CC21. So I'm going to make this a quick tutorial so you guys will get to understand my steps and my procedures for this project. So guys, let's get started. So guys, right now we are in Photoshop. So I'm using my custom size 2000 by 2000. Hit create and let's get started. So I'll be placing the image that I'll be using for the background in this project. And if you know Imo State very well, you know that this is the Assumpta Cathedral Catholic Church. And this is the roundabout that was built by Rocha. So really Rocha so Rocha. So I'm gonna be using my eraser tool to remove the parts that I don't want in this image. Okay, so what I'm gonna do next is that I'm going to place um the van. I'm gonna place it right here and I'm gonna use it to cover the statue. Okay, I have to reduce that a little bit. Okay. Okay, I've not decided yet. Okay, I think I'm okay with this. So, for my next step, I'm going to Okay, let me just clean more of these parts right here. And then I'm going to use uh, my brush to I'll select the image from the road using my eyedropper tool. And what I'm going to do is paint over this um, this roundabout. What I'm trying to do is that I'm trying to make it as if the road extends to the place where the boss is because um, the idea of this design is to make it look as if the boss, the van is on the road or the boss is on the road. So to create that effect, I'm going to use uh, the color which I get from the road to paint um, on the other sides of the roundabout so that it won't be seen as that but it will actually be seen as the road too so that's what i'm going to do is i'm going to place my logo i've not really tried um perspective tool in terms of using photoshop i've heard of it in corel draw i think it's much easier in corel draw but i've not done it on photoshop before but i just decided to play with it in this design uh, i know it may not look good but I'm not doing this for it to look good. This is not actually the part that I want to show you guys in the tutorial. So it might be rough. Okay. So I'm just trying to find the place that um, it won't look off. Let me just leave it here for now. And zoom out and see how it looks. Like I said, it mustn't be clean. I'm not. This is not the uh, part of the tutorial. I could have just used um, a van mock-up or a bus mock-up. But I just wanted to try out perspective because it's been something I've not done in a long while since I stopped using Corel Draw. So I've not really mastered it on Photoshop, but I would love to learn it too. So I'm gonna place the second logo right here. Okay. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to hit uh, perspective and I'm going to uh, move it a little bit. So I kind of have a feeling that uh, this looks better than the one I did at the bonnet earlier. I think this looks um, more realistic uh, per se. This looks better. I know we've been accustomed to um, the behavior of using mockups, like for projects like this, using mockups. But I just wanted to try. Uh, let me not say try. I just wanted to do something um, different, though. So it might not come out clean, but um, that's not the essence of the tutorial. Like I'm emphasizing right now. So I'm going to select um, my test tool and I'm going to type in the test that I'll be using for this design. So the idea of this design is that it's an advertorial design for social media 
whereby um whereby we are trying to let the customers know that we can help them carry their heavy goods okay so let's just type that in okay so i'm using railway for this i i know that i love using sql sans so much but when it comes to all these uh, simple art designs i think railway does it for me because it has that unique feeling it has that modern look more than sql sans and it has that it gives that um um modern feel to my design so that's why i love using railway for most of my art designs so let me just align this a little bit okay let's handle the heavy goods for you this concept is actually based off uh, a design i did for blue amazon logistics a logistics company that um, actually run quite uh, many ads for so this is uh, a concept that i actually use for that design so i just wanted to um, bring this out as a tutorial so that you guys can learn how um, i approached the design because um when i was designing this i really didn't have this in mind i just wanted to create something quite simple but i just decided to play around and it was nice to to come to this okay so i'm gonna use my color overlay to change this color to yellow and i'll place it so I will put the number okay Okay, so I'll adjust this a little bit and I'll reduce um, the size of the rectangle a little bit. Okay. So I think this is looking cool. I don't have the test uh, blowing over the place, taking much of the information. I think I'm actually okay with the way it's placed. So that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to place the logo. Okay, let me look for a way to actually blend that logo because the logo is a little bit lost in the background because the background is white, which might change later. With my change later, but um, I think I'll prefer changing or putting a shape there that will bring out the color of the logo because I can't use yellow on white. The time I made that mistake was um, when I was starting out design, so I had um, a design I was, that was meant to be printed on the billboard, so I actually used um, a yellow test on a white background and. It wasn't funny for me like by the time i could get to the to my clients the print has already printed it and ah i really the work was almost reprinted but i don't know how it happened like things happen in design career so i really don't know how it happened but i thank god that went well so don't use yellow on a white background don't use light back don't use light test on a light background because you may not be able to see that test completely 
And sometimes Photoshop can be tricky because you may actually see it clearly on your Photoshop or your corridor, but once it's printed, then you can have trouble seeing it. So let me just group this together and make sure that it's grouped. Okay, let me zoom in a little bit. And then let me zoom out. So this uh, technique actually that I made mention at the intro at the beginning of this video is actually a technique, uh, a form of manipulation whereby you bring together different, um, different background or different resources and use all these resources to form a background. So I have the image of the boss, I have the image of um, the roundabout and looking at this image now, you may not actually know that this is a roundabout. With the way I painted over the roundabout, use the color of the road, selected the color of the road to place on the roundabout. So this gives it that um, exquisite feel because um, like I always tell people, the goal of being a graphic designer is all about being creative. So whenever people tell me, ah, boss, I want to learn graphic design, I tell them it's not about teaching graphic design. Are you creative? So sorry about that. My bandicam just popped off from nowhere. Okay, so... For my next step, I'll be placing the sky like this wonderful landscape background and i'll be i'll be needing only the sky so let me just expand this put it behind the background layer or okay let me just leave it and i'll use my eraser tool to clean to clean the excess parts like that's the part that is overlaying um that is on top of the image my main background because i don't want um, this sky background covering the main aspect of the design so if you notice if you follow me on instagram as uh, at its mess graphics you notice that the main design that i use this concept i didn't put the sky it was later that i had to Revisit it and I said that wow, it will really be a nice idea putting this guy here because I wanted to just mix different combinations of uh, Backgrounds different combination of resources to create something really cool. I Didn't want to relate with the conventional way of Going online to download the background. I really wanted to do something different for this project So this is uh, our box of uh, Delivery uh, these are delivery boxes so I'll be dropping this in front of the uh, in front of the bus. So the reason why I use this technique in this um, design was so that um by just seeing this image, you already know what the design is all about. I don't need to tell you this is a delivery design. This is a this is a logistics company. By seeing what is in the background by the elements and the resources have combined you can actually say what this design is for and what this design is all about so that's what um design is all about making sending messages to anybody out there about what you are trying to pass across so by that we combine different images combine different elements to actually Blend it. There are some people that take this to the next level. I've seen manipulations like all these manipulations that you have. Um, you have a tortoise or a tortoise, I don't know. You have a tortoise, then instead of the tortoise being a normal tortoise, you now see like doors, windows. The tortoise is now looking like a house, but only the shell is the house. So, by that technique, we actually combine the house 
with the shell of the tortoise so that is what combination technique is all about you can use it to combine different images to form a background people use it for crazy crazy illustrations crazy illustrations man so who can guess what i'm about to add now it's something i can't do without overlays i don't know i just love overlays i just love overlays I don't know why I'm actually saying overlay and it's sounding me like umale in my ears. I don't I don't really know why, but once I was I was just saying overlay, overlay, overlay. I was hearing umale, umale, umale. So <laughs> ah. okay guys, so as you can see, this is already looking nice. I don't think I need to go any further on this. I don't think I need to go any further on this. Anything I do at this point. I may change it later because I think this is really okay. So guys, thank you for watching this video. Remember to subscribe if you are new to this channel and hit the notification bell icon. Thank you guys. Mess graphics out. See you in my next video.